Good morning, one and all. I would be presenting on invaded orbital boundaries, thinking beyond the orbit. So uh, the strategic location of the orbit being surrounded by the cranial cavity and the paranasal sinuses predisposes to its invasion from the lesions in these areas. Although the ophthalmic presentations occur late, but these might be the primary reasons why the patient presents to the hospital because of the functional losses, that is, diminution of vision, proptosis. Data on these unusual cases of over a decade is correct, collected and compiled. 376 cases were seen from 2010 to 2022 in the tertiary care oculoplastic center and the ophthalmo ophthalmology OPD in the department of KGM. The results were, out of 376 cases, most common were sinonasal tumors followed by the epithelial tumors and soft tissue tumors. The median age of presentation was around 50 years. In males, most common tumors were epithelial tumors, whereas in females, sinonasal tumors were more common. Proptosis was the most common presentation, followed by decreased visual acuity, pain, and facial swellings. Patients were treated on the basis of disease-specific chemotherapy and radiotherapy, and surgical approaches included transcranial and sinonasal approaches, depending upon the origin of the lesion. Post-treatment, the resolution of proptosis was most common, followed by visual acuity, headache, visual field, and ocular mood. To summarize, the most common presentation was proptosis, Paresthesia was most commonly missed. Paranasal sinuses lesions were most frequent. Middle age was most commonly affected. And the treatment in approaches include multi-speciality treatment. To conclude, I would like to say that orbital signs are delayed presentations of extraorbital lesions, and these need a high index of suspicion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Priyanka. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Dr. Priyanka, you are saying that orbital signs are delayed, but have you noticed any cases that first presented to ophthalmologist, then you have to refer? Ma'am, uh, that is why I had presented this. Although the orbital signs are delayed, but mm -hmm. these are the primary causes, uh, the, the, due to proptosis, disease, uh, decreased facial acuity, diplopia. These are the primary reasons why patient presents to the hospital, to the ophthalmology department. Mm -hmm. And when we um, properly do detailed ophthalmological evaluation and the scannings, we realize that these are not primary origin of orbit and these are uh, para-orbital origin lesions and that's when we refer and a multimodality treatment was performed. What is your workup protocol? Yes, ma'am. How you start and you finish the workup? Ma'am, uh, for any patient presenting to us, we start with uh, visual acuity, pupillary reaction, then we start with orbital margin, uh, proptos uh, seeing the proptosis, then um, followed by anterior segment evaluation and fundus evaluation. Then we go for uh, imaging protocol, imaging, yes. x-ray followed by CT scan. So you don't do MRI? Ma'am, that is very late because we have uh, patients who are very poor and MRI takes a lot of time. So we uh, start with CT scans and x-ray and if needed, MRI is done. Thank you. Just one question. 376 cases you were presented. Yes. Were there any inclusion criteria, exclusion criteria? What were the kind of patients you so we included patients who primarily presented to ophthalmology department and later they turned out to have lesions which were not orbital in origin. So these and were the cases of proptosis who came to your department? Yes, sir, proptosis, demination of vision, diplopia. Demination of vision? Yes, sir, deviation of eye, demination of vision. So demination of vision means even cataract patients only were... No, no, uh, sir. Uh, what, was the, what, was, what was the purpose of this study? What was the purpose of this study? So the purpose of the study is many a times it happens that patients present to ophthalmology department. Okay. Presence to ophthalmology department means ophthalmology department means cataract comes, glaucoma no, comes, retinal no, detachment sir. comes. What do you mean by presenting to the ophthalmology department? That's a very broad yes. statement. Uh, I'm sure in your uh, hospital you have ophthalmology department. In that you have cataract, glaucoma, retina, orbit. Do you mean to say presenting to the orbit department in your hospital? Yes, sir. Oculoplastic. Oculoplastic orbit person. department. So. And, uh, suspecting lesions which were involving orbit, but their origin was primarily not orbit and involving the cranial cavity and paranasal sinuses, secondary involvement of orbit. So the inclusion criteria was of the patients who presented to the oculoplastic department, department in your hospital yes, with, uh, uh, with uh, you mean to say proptosis, proptosis. not ptosis and uh, these are only proptosis cases. No, no sir, uh, proptosis, ptosis, any uh, complaint, but later they turned out to be uh, primary from cranial cavity or paranasal. 
Because it's surprising the most number of patients which you say is sino nasal yes, origin. Sir. So usually the, the number of cases uh, of proptosis presenting with sino nasal origin no? yes, is usually not that common in uh, at least in my series. Most of them it, it's usually thyroid or yes, it's sir. hemangioma or dermoid or something. Yes. Sino nasal involvement causing uh, eccentric yes. proptosis is actually not very common, but yes, in your series that seems to be yes, the sir. Highest, uh, yes, sir, because we have seen multiple uh, esthesia neuroblastomas and a uh, lot of squamous cell carcinomas, aggressive tumors, which presented to our uh, oculoplastic okay. clinic first. Later we referred them. Okay.